Welcome to the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List channel. I am Live Action Animation. I am Hannibal the Beat Animal. And it's Venom 3 days. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, the Venom 3 trailer is out. So, of course, we're here to look at, check it out, see what's up, see what's happening. I don't even know how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's out, it's happening. We're going to. And the thing, you know, you, me, you, you know what it is. You gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Nah, but we're super excited. The Venom trailer is officially out today. Came out earlier this morning. And so we're gonna jump right on into things. I didn't know this trailer was coming out today, and I just happened to be wearing my Venom shirt. I was already there. I was already, I was already in Venom mode. Yeah. It was in that noggin. It was in that noggin. You're feeling it. You knew. Yeah, Vin Venom is one of my favorite anti-heroes of all time. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm very curious to see what this movie looks like. Okay, just uh, I, I'm, before we watch the trailer, what, what, what are you thinking? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be trash? What are your expectations for Venom? I don't know. I think for Venom, I just want to enjoy Venom. I don't even know if I care if Venom movies are that good, just because they're not necessarily a part of any... I mean, they are kind of a part of the MCU, but not really a part of the MCU because they do little throwbacks to it or you'll see little part like, you know, Spider-Verse, Cross the Spider-Verse. He was in it, you know? And so that was super dope. Or the lady was in it. So I'll, I'll say that. But, you know, I don't really have standards when it comes to the Venom film. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just want to go in and enjoy it. I like Tom Hardy. I think Tom Hardy is a fantastic Eddie Brock, uh, a fantastic uh, uh, Venom. And he has been one of the sole highlights of this franchise mm -hmm. so far. For real, for real. You know, like, you know what the, this franchise needs? Rated all movies. That's what they need. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. need rated all Venom, Venom films. It's like a rated R film, like a real legit, just grimy Venom. Oh, mm -hmm. with Deadpool Wolverine coming out, it would be nice. Mm -hmm. Nice to get a grimy, gritty Venom just once. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love, listen, I would love to watch him bite somebody's head off and it doesn't happen off screen. Yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. You know, but we'll see. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm excited. Let's let's watch this trailer. All right, so let's let's check it out and see what we got. All right, I all have right. low expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. You should probably know that I have a really dark and unpredictable side to me. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Mm. Gwen. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, they're working together. Are you? We are. We're Venom. We are. Venom. No. <laughs> uh, we, we are. Venom. We're going to need to work on that. <laughs> you take me to all the finest places. I need kind of love. He always knew it was impossible. But we were alone okay. in the universe. Chewittle! This guy is always in movies. And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. Oh. There has to be a reason they're after us. Eddie, my own, has found us. Oh. It's aliens! 
cannot be beaten. As long as Venom lives, everyone, everything will end. You may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie, the time has come. Oh. Be honest with me. How fast do you think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out. So, so they're still they're still going comedy horror. Like one one of the things I think has always kind of impacted this franchise is is that it's it's had a bit of an identity crisis, right? Like, is it a, is it an action film? Is it a horror film? Is it a comedy? And it and it's trying to be all of those things at the same time, which I'm not against. I, I don't have a problem with that. Not to say what's wrong with that. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with that if you can pull it off right yeah. and, and the yeah. question has always been with the venom franchise is are they pulling it, it off that's always been the question like, yeah. like are they are they accomplishing that that feat i okay. love tom hardy and i love the way this movie looks the, the special effects looks better in Amazing. this yeah, then it has. And all of the other ones, yeah, then, then it has. I mean, but, but you could also see the progression, right? The progression in how they fine tuned the special effects in this movie. You know, the first start was kind of like, how do we create Venom, right? And the second one was kind of like, okay, we've created Venom, but how do we kind of up the anim? Because now we have, was it Rampage in this one, right? So this third one, I think they've locked it down, but I hope it's not the last because it looks amazing at this point. You know what it, I mean? And it looks it looks good. Like uh, all together, what do you think? What do you think the Venom tri uh, uh, trilogy is going to fall amongst some of the other comic superhero trilogies that we've had? When you look at it next to the what do we got? Three Thors? Oh, we got four. We got four Thors, three Guardians. Three. Well, it's definitely not up there with Guardians. It's not up there with Guardians. It's not going to be up there with your Avengers trilogy because the Avengers was was a trilogy, well, yeah. quad trilogy, Quar but... quadrilogy, right? Yeah. Where, where do you think it falls in, in those franchises? Like, like, do you think they're going to try to tie this into the other Spider-Man films, or is this going to be? Oh, I mean, well, because I don't know because the only thing they've tied it into was across the universe, and across the universe, across the Spideyverse, is not a part of the MCU at this point. Yeah, it, it, it exists kind of. Yeah, so I think unless they crossed over Spideyverse, if they haven't crossed over Venom now, they're probably not gonna cross him over, um, which I think is a is is a missed opportunity considering how well the Sony Spider-Man universe is going. Mm -hmm. I feel like he would be a great addition to that franchise if you're looking for, well, maybe not for Spider-Man 4 because they already kind of got where that's going, but Spider-Man 5, you can you can put him in that, you know what I mean? Even if he's like kind of a side villain that they have to attend to, you know? Can you imagine him dealing with like Eddie Brock and Tom Holland having some scenes together as Eddie Brock and, you know, Peter Parker, and then to find out that Eddie Brock is the Venom at, at the end of the movie, but they've developed so much of a bond. So then you get Venom maybe while being a anti-hero becomes more of a superhero. Like and there's so many opportunities for that to play really well on screen. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure if a Marvel's going to be able to acquire them because I'm not I'm not sure how that's working or if they're even trying to get that franchise. And then if they would want to work that in. I think it would be brilliant. I think it would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, I just not sure that they would be able, they would do it. At the end of, I believe it was at the end of the last Spider-Man movie, we saw like an Easter egg of, of a piece of the Venom symbiote from, yeah. uh, uh, from this franchise making its way into the Marvel MCU. Yes. Um, 
and I would love to see how that plays out and how that ties in. Uh, we did a, a short, we talked about MCU in credit scenes that haven't paid off yet, and that's another one of those scenes. Yeah. So yeah. maybe Venom 3 is an opportunity for them to to to, to, to answer kind of those questions. Change that direction. And we don't know because we don't know what this movie is going to bring, but also, you know, there is a possibility that they are in talks to bring Venom in. We just don't know because they are so stacked. I mean, can they settle the Blade debauchery right now? Like, can we can we get that settled? And then, you know, maybe we can pull in, pull in Venom. But I feel like Venom is such an easy, an easy avenue to go down, an easy path to do that makes sense. And you can make it make sense. And like I said, the dichotomy between just Eddie Brock and Peter Parker alone, not even bringing in Venom and Spider-Man. And then you have the instance where the Spider-Man and the Venom meet. And then at the end, you realize that the two of them have been friends this whole movie. Like it would be so great because Tom has created such an amazing Eddie Brock in this universe that he's such a lovable guy and a likable guy. It is a funny guy and he's an awkward guy. And, and all of that is Peter in a younger form, right? Yeah. I would be great, actually. What, what I think they might do is, I wouldn't be surprised if they used that little piece of Venom symbiote that made it from the Sony franchise over to the MCU. As they, it, it seems like they were implying at the end, at the end of that last Spider-Man that these exist as like parallel different timelines, right? You know, so this is a timeline that doesn't have a Spider-Man or doesn't act like this Eddie Brock is not the same as the Eddie Brock that exists in the MCU. So I could see a scenario where the Eddie Eddie Brock in the, the MCU ends up, you know, is a photographer that works at the at the bugle, right? Um, gets the symbiote, hates Peter Parker. Right, mm-hmm. or maybe Tom Holland gets the, the symbiote and he gets the black suit ahead of Secret Wars. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, because like in the in the original Secret Wars comic, the, that was where yeah. he uh, Spider Man got the the black suit was yeah. during the Secret Secret Wars. Yeah. So maybe another one, and then you know, yes, you can have that symbiote crossover, but there's no thing saying that you can't pull this universe as Tom Holland in Tom Holland. Tom Hardy into the MCU where Tom Holland is. Ground control to Major Tom. I, I, I've always been a fan of that song. Ace Wonder is also a big fan of that song. I love the deconstructed ground control to Major Tom, having the deconstructed David Bowie uh, playing in the background. Um, I'm always concerned about how, like, I, sometimes these movies cross the line between being like, 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 like I said, the comedy hallway goes almost sl- yeah. slapsticky. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh. Gets yeah. a little slapsticky. Um, yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, um, Thor four was a great representation of how slapstick can go. The, too the, far. Screaming, the screaming goats. The screaming goats. Yeah, can go a little, go a little too far. But you know, I, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of depends. We won't know until we actually see they've done with it. You know. Yeah. What I mean? And I'm curious to see, like, in this this Sony verse of films, where you have the the Tom Highland, well, that, where you have the the three now soon to be three Venom movies. You have the Madam Web film, which we have to t- watch and talk about, and uh, the upcoming Kraken film, um, a, cra- a, a Craven the Hunter. I say Kraken. The, yeah, the Craven the Hunter film. Also, there's a conversation to be had about, and, and we've talked about doing this video of actors that have played multiple characters yes. in yes. superhero franchises. Sooner than later, now that a lot of this is, a lot of these yeah. actors are happening. It's a little edgier for being in this film when he was also Mordo in the Doctor Strange film. Right. You right. Know, almost certainly alludes to the idea that these are taking place in very different in different timelines or different universes mm-hmm. you know yeah, where, where, there, where there is some overlap but not uh, uh, enough overlap where it's like no these exist in separate spaces no, they're definitely in separate spaces because i mean you wouldn't have had that universe and across the across the spideyverse if it wasn't separate mm-hmm. into you know, mm-hmm. it would have been in that realm of Spideyverse, and it was clearly a different. So that that's also interesting because then you know, um, in Doctor Strange, it was a different Mordo. So you know, like mm-hmm. 
I don't know. And but he's a completely different character in this movie. It seems like it, it definitely seems like he. That that would be interesting if this movie started and he was he, Carl Morton. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to it. Beat yeah, me to like, it. instead of going to Carmitage and join the military. <laughs> hey, and he's the same guy, but in the whole thing that now that, that would, we don't know. That would yeah. be really interesting. That would be really dope, but I, I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man. So that was the trailer. Let us know what you think. Are you excited about this new Venom 3 coming out in October, which is right around the corner? I know I'm excited. I, yeah, I am also excited. I'm, I'm definitely going to be in the theater with my Venom shirt on. To And just look, at one point, this was the only Venom shirt I could find. So I'm hoping, now that, he's, I'm hoping that now that he's a more popular character, I can get better shirts, okay? At one time, this was all I could get on Amazon. Amazon, make sure you sponsor the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List channel, okay? We're doing big things over here. We are freely sponsoring your products. <laughs> we are. Them and DeWalt. DeWalt. <laughs> the official ladder of the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List channel. DeWalt. <laughs> I like it. Oh, man. I appreciate yeah, a good anyway. callback. <laughs> We know what we do. Anyway, thanks guys for joining us today. Uh, again, let us know. Are you excited in the comments below? Before you leave, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that bell to stay updated to everything that we're doing here. And we will see you guys next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Later. To the bad mobile. Yeah.